Okay, guys, let's go through some review over what we did today with graphing inequalities. So first of all, if I'm solving and graphing inequalities, I'm going to see one of these four inequalities. And I do need to remember that when I see greater than or less than these two over here, when I end up graphing it, it's going to be an open circle. When I see less than or equal to or greater than or equal to, when I solve, that's going to be a filled in or a closed circle, as some of you have called it today. So we have to make sure, just like we did before, that we get x on one side, a number on the other, and then whatever our inequality is, it's going to be in this spot. So let's just go over graphing some basic ones. So on this one, I have x is greater than or equal to 3. So first of all, because there is this equal to part in the bottom, it's going to be a filled in circle. I also know the only number that they really care about is 3. So on my number line, I can have more, but I need to have that spot where 3 is at. Now if I want to, I can go after this and put a 4, and go before this and put a 2, but I have to at least have this 3 there. <laughs> Okay, now at that 3, it's going to be a closed circle because of the equal to. And the inequality points in this direction, so my line's going to go in that direction. Remember, that's going to be true. The inequality is going to point the way that the line goes as long as the variable that you have, which is x in this case, comes first. Okay, in this one, we have x is less than 5. So because it's less than, it's going to be an open circle. And the only number they care about is 5. So I have to make sure I have 5 on my number line. Now, it's going to be an open circle. Because this inequality points in this direction, my line's going to go in that direction. Okay. On the next one, I have x is greater than negative 7. So this is an open circle because there's no equal to with the inequality. And the only number they care about right now is negative 7. So here's my negative 7, my open circle above it. Inequality points this way, so my line is going to go that way because the variable comes first. Okay, last one. On this one, it does have an equal to with it, so it's going to be a filled in circle. And the number they care about is 6. So there's going to be a 6 in the number line with a closed circle in front of it. Inequality points this way, so my line is going to go this way. Okay, look over your basic info for this, and this will be our warm-up for tomorrow.